And they literally sat in their board meeting and it was like, ooh, this is a good idea. Yeah, yeah, this is what we're going to do. Ooh, sounds good. I hate to keep going 6 9 all the time, but are you dumb, stupid, or dumb? Life sunshine, or you fire flying. Like you got angels in your bloodline. I, I just want to see you shine, just give me a sign. I'm trying to get in time with your waistline. If I let you fuck, it's going to be a problem. I'm just being honest. Hello, hello, hello. How you guys doing today? It's your girl Jodeci. And this is about Opali. Opali need to bring that ass here, boy. Because what? If you don't know, Opali is a small um, online store. And it's based out of the UK. And basically, Opali's account has about 2 million followers. Wow. Opali's account has about 2 million followers. Now with these followers, let me just let you guys know they have 2 million followers on their main page. I say main page because I'm going to let you guys know in a little bit what is going on with this damn thing, right? So, hold on. Here we have Opali. They were asked to promote, right now they promote white girls with tans. Like, white girls with tans, like Kim Kardashian level, like bronzy tans where it's like, damn, are you tan or are you are you black? Like that's all they promote on their page. Skinny white girls with tans. And someone says, "Hey, I want you to. Um, I would like you to go ahead and promote other body types and other skin types. Can you please do that?" Oh, Polly says, "Sure." And in response to this, they create a new Instagram called Oh Polly Inclusive. That has three thousand followers, where they promote everybody else that's not white. Huh? So so you couldn't it you you couldn't just put it on the regular page. You had to go make a whole separate page to say, "Hey, yeah, I don't want to offend any of my white customers by having to see your ugly black ass." So I'm going to sit there and make a whole page that if they want to see you, they could go on a page that has substantially less followers so you can promote black people wearing your clothing. Who on earth approved that? You clearly have no black people on your marketing team because it takes one Jerome, one Tyrell, one Dangene in the corner to be like, you sure you want to do that? Because they're not going to like that. In response to the backlash, here's a statement. Wow. Here's a statement from the O'Pauly team. It says, thanks for your very valid point. This page is not just about different body types. It's celebrating a wider range in our community that are not necessarily professional models or popular influencers. We will be exploring different themes and post types with less focus on likes and engagement. So what that basically means is black people don't give our main page the engagement and likes that we would like. So we made a separate page so we don't have to focus on likes and engagement so we can promote y'all black asses. That's what that means. Um, we will, blah, 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 okay. We're going to block anyone. We're also going to block anyone causing drama, body shaming, being abusive to our gals or for being negative. Feel free to comment on what you want to see more of with a little kissy face. How sweet. So what that translates to is we understand we have a bunch of racists on our main page. Because we have 2 million followers, it takes too much time to police that. So we have made a separate space that is supposed to be a safe space for black people, for people with different body parts, so we can police the comments a little bit better. And we're not really worried about making money on this page or that everybody sees it or that there are a lot of likes, views, or engagement. So we're also not going to be creating campaigns or um, promoting any of these posts on these pages. But we're doing it so that the general public feels perfectly fine and they stop bothering us saying that they want to see a black ass face on my white ass page. So here's a black ass face page for you because that's clearly what you want. That's what Old Polly is saying. Huh? And they literally sat in their board meeting and it was like, ooh, this is a good idea. Yeah, yeah, this is what we're going to do. Ooh, sounds good. I hate to keep going 6 9 all the time, but are you dumb, stupid, or dumb? You really thought that was going to quell 
during Black Lives Matter, you really thought that was going to quell something? You thought you was doing something? You you thought? You you thought you did something. You thought you you Well, okay. Then. Let me know in the comments below. Do you think they did something? You think they did something? Are are you satisfied? That fake Fashion Nova, that fake ass Fashion Nova, you think they did something? Because that's basically what they are. They're like a UK type Fashion Nova where they just do like high um like fast fashion, quick fashion. You saw it on Kim Kardashian, here it is. Yeah. So that's basically what they do. And um how you got a bunch of people with tans, but when I say can we get some actual black people, you got a problem. You gotta make an inclusive page. Why wouldn't your main page be your inclusive page? What does your brand exactly promote? Let me know if you have any of these questions. What do you think about Opali? If they was getting your coin before, are they still getting your coin? If they wasn't getting your coin, are they not getting your coin no more? Because I don't think they should be getting your coin because they're clearly wilding out. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys will see me, your girl Josie, a little bit later. Bye, guys.